Good evening everyone. Craig here, didn't realise the street light, but that light there, that's the full moon. And just over there, that's Saturn and Jupiter's just on the opposite side of the moon. We just started our little walk down Brownleaf Road, heading towards Brownleaf Lane. Come on and stir up you get, that's it. I thought I'd give Wobby a night off. I thought the, the itinerary that I'm going to do with Oberon is a night on, a night off. I always got to remember he's getting a bit of an old boy now and he doesn't like getting played about with too much, especially when I'm doing the cutters and stuff. Hi there, Anita. Come on. But we've got quite cloudless. Now, apparently tomorrow is going to be absolutely beautiful, which means I'm going to do my garden tomorrow. I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. He's on the centre. Somebody's picked a scent up somewhere. He's just wondering where it is. Yeah, good evening to all yours as well. Yeah, about mister. So we'll have a nice little walk down to Brownleaf Lane. Then I'll turn on the, the tactical torch so I can see where I'm going. I'll have a little clip clop his paws when he's walking. But he's wearing little tackety boots. Reminds me of my army days marching. Oh, I used to hate drill practice. We had to... The first couple of weeks, because I was in the army cadets before I went into the army, so I already knew how to march and stuff. But oh, the first couple of weeks, people would just, they just, guys don't know how to march when they first start in the army, but they soon learn, especially when you get a drill sergeant, drill sergeant major. Any nice bottles? Oh, blimey, I turned the torch off. What bottle is that? Skull Vodka. Oh, it's a nice bottle, I like it. I've got to keep a hold of that. As long as I don't drop it. I'm a... I thank me for bottles, I love bottles. A couple of guys out there, dogs, and... Obi's already had a... Goddamn poo on me. So I'm having to carry bloody poo bags as well. Hot for you. You know, this is, they keep saying we're going to have a late summer. But whether we do or not, I don't know. Is that light going off again? Yeah. That's my hand getting in the way. Oh, we're on this way, come on. Yeah, as long as it doesn't fall out of my pocket. I've got it in my pocket. Hi, Nicole. Zod's Law with Arsenal and Chelsea. The area you were sitting in and you put your picture, that was the only time I ever went to the Emirates Stadium and I was in the same area when Arsenal were playing Celtic. I think that was a year before me and Jacqueline split up. I went there with Tom and Glenn, our brother and our dad. Oh, that's true, I can't keep junk. Yeah, okay, I'll put it, I'll put it in another, I'll put it in another bin, yeah. I should be getting ready stuff, shouldn't I? There we go, I'll put it in there. Maybe when I move to Wales, I'll find something even better. Come on, mister. Oberon does love to do his sniffing. See, this is why I use the two leads because it just creates a little bit more space that he can get a little bit of space to do what he wants. It was a shambles, yeah. I thought Arsenal were quite unlucky a couple of times. 
Guess what that is? That's grass seeds. Still growing because of the, the, the late spring. Although they're out of season now. Yeah. Hi Claudia, how are you? Yeah, luckily, you know I mean, Nico, it's the beginning of the season. They'll come back, they'll bounce back. They always do, because I was looking at the position and the thing he said, they've only played one game, so... I mean, same with Celtic. Celtic had a terrible start to the season. They lost the first game against Hearts. But the, the, they've popped back. And they've got a really good striker, Kyogo. And he's like... He's played three games and he's scored six goals. Got a couple of hat tricks. And plus they completely demolished St Mern on Saturday six now. <laughs> but they've got Rangers on the weekend. That will be the first derby of the year. So I'll be um I'll certainly be listening to that. And hopefully tomorrow the, the, the VR headset is going to come. They were trying to say it's going to come between the 3rd of September to the 6th of September, but I got an email from um, eBay today asked me to review the the headset, so I, I wrote a really stinking letter, but not at the, the seller. I said um, the postal services in the UK are really poor, so I hadn't received it yet. And then... And that same day, I get a, an email from the, the person that was selling the VR headset with the tracking thing, and I found out they only posted it today, and they posted it by special delivery, which means hopefully I'll get it tomorrow. But tomorrow, since we're going to have a really beautiful day, I'm going to do a little bit in my garden. I'm going to do the back because I want to clear it up because I love... Um, I love watching the wildlife at night and what I will do is I'll set up a webcam because we always get the foxes playing in the back garden and hopefully the, my webcam will be able to pick them up. Now we'll go down, we'll take, go up our little um, thing. Now can you see that light there? Just above the lampposts there? That's Saturn. Saturn's very bright. And up there, that's Jupiter. And the moon's just about over here. The moon's just about over there. And it's really, it's not blue. It's supposed to be a blue moon tonight, but it looks more orange. Yeah, I'm on, mister. So I'm enjoying this little walk. And I've eaten well today. I've actually eaten twice. Well, I had I had um, Rice Krispies before I came out, but I still class that as a meal because it's, it's got a lot of nutrients in it. And there's the good old park over there. Oh, I went out of focus there for a second. It looks a bit eerie, doesn't it? I missed his on a sniff. And here we are, Brownleaf Lane, my favourite place. There we go. Light it all up. Yeah. This usually grows about a foot each year, but the person that's got this, what they do is they they get some of the thingies and they just thread it right through again. So it makes it nice and um, bushy on top. But yeah, look at that. Well, because I've got heart and lung disease, it's the council that's responsible for it, but they haven't been doing any of the gardens because of the, the lockdown. And um, I like to, same as you, I like to leave my garden as I found it. 
but there's only so much that I can do. Remember, I'm working on a 45 degree slope, which is going to probably cripple me. But if I do it a little bit at a time, start first thing in the morning when I've had my tablets of all sort of like worked in. They won't do it, Liz. They won't do it. They won't do anybody's garden. I've asked them. <laughs> yeah. It's all because of the COVID. That's what they say. They don't have the staff. And also the same thing on the, with the VR headset. They put in the thing, because of coronavirus, things might take a little bit longer, but not to the bloody 6th of September. So they've sent it by recorded delivery, which is guaranteed by 1pm. So I'll know tomorrow. I tell you what I have to do one night is come down here with the camera because this is quite nice, isn't it? And all the horses are all over the fields there at the moment. <laughs> yeah, they won't do the garden of it, I have asked them. The only time they do the garden is if somebody else is moving into an empty flat. Because Don noticed them the other day there. She says, I'll ask them. So I, I, when I, I phoned up the, the council, asked for their, what, I think it's works, works and gardens department. And they says, they only do that if somebody's moving into the flat. Which means we've got new people moving in. Next is, and I don't know if they're, um, I don't know if they're going to be nice people or not, but whoever's moving in, they've bloody left all their windows open, haven't they? Although the flat's probably empty. But, yeah. Houses are so full up here quickly because there's a 25-year waiting list. There's Foxy up there next to the car. See him? I'm trying to sort of zoom it in a bit. You can just see his little eyes going in the back. I need to charge the battery up in this a little bit crikey. Oh, that's chip wood. See if anything. Look, this is a bloody huge doll's house here. Wow, one of those. I had one of those chairs, they're not very comfortable. I know 100 days for a parcel. Yeah, because I, I got the thing be back. I just think what it is, I was saying to Liz today, it's this thing of, um, what do you call it, um, small businesses. Uh, deal with eBay because I remember what eBay was like when I used to do the eBay I used to, if somebody bought something I always sent it by recorded delivery the exact same day or the next day if it was too late for the post office but I've always been lucky wherever I've stayed there's always been a post office right next door but what some of these small businesses do is they try to get as many orders in as possible so they need to just do one journey. But um, as soon as I put that feedback to eBay, eBay has probably said to him, hey, where's this guy's VR headset? He's paid you the money. So that same day... They sent me the, the tracking order, the tracking code. So I put the tracking code in at the post office and they said, yeah, we've got your, your thing, mate. And it told me exactly when it was posted, which means it was posted today. Uh, see, there's another thing about Sussex. Is people put, that's a dryer, and that's a washer. And they're all working. Nine times out of ten, that stuff is working. But what, some, some scrap merchant will come round, pick it up, make sure it's working and if it needs any sort of cosmetics, fix up some stuff, and then they'll resell it again. There's the moon, see the moon? 
doesn't look like the moon, but it is. Happy moon, everybody. It's more orange here, though. It's not blue like it will be in the United States, apparently. On the Kev Baker Show tonight and True Frequency Radio, look it up. There's Mary Decina. She's an astrologer, and she's very, very, very good. Very good. Old school. And a lot of her stuff is really accurate. She's been coming on to the Kev Baker Show every full moon for the, about the past year. And she does readings for people and lots of feedback. If you like astrology and stuff like that, a little bit of mythology, then give it a listen. Look up Kev Baker on YouTube. I always promote Kev's stuff because Kev's a Scotsman like me. And he's really, really nice guy. I always use first class posters. Yeah, I always do that as well. But because I think they, they got into a bit of a panic because I complained to um, eBay. You know what I mean? And as soon as I made that complaint, it was it was sent. And like I said, because I've got the details, I know when it was sent and it was sent into the post office today. Which the person was saying between this, the, the 3rd to the 6th of September I would get the VR headset. Which means that they were just trying to hold off. China, yeah, China's very long, isn't it? And that, because it comes by probably, doesn't come by aircraft, it comes by freight. Um, what do you call it? Ships. Exported in. This has decided to leave another present on the grass. <sighs> but yeah, postage is. Um, I mean, I know it's because of the lockdown, and I was thinking for the headset to take that long, that means that the they have so many staff off sick. And I've only seen the postman up in Woodendine maybe two or three times in the past two weeks. And because of where I sit at the window, I see everything that passes my window. That ever gets there, yeah. So hopefully the VR headset will come tomorrow. If it does, I might do a little impromptu set-up and stuff. I'm so looking forward to showing you Skyrim, where you can actually... It actually feels like you're actually in the game. That's what's amazing about it. And also I've got the... the ghostly um, video games like The Exorcist and some other game, which I only... I stopped playing because I got too scared. I mean, I can walk in graveyards, I'll sit in graveyards all night long and I'll go into haunted places and it won't bother me. Because, the simple reason, the games are meant to make you jump scare, aren't they? <laughs> but I'll show you the Exorcist game once I get it up and running. And you'll see me screw like a, like a four-year-old girl that's broke his leg. Really amazing. Oh, I'm out of breath. That little hill there is such a killer. But I'm feeling really happy. It's been a positive day. And like I said, I've had two meals today. So I feel I've got a little bit of energy. But it'll puff me out so that I can go. When I get in, I'll quickly jump my bath to heat my body back up. Put the electric blanket on and pop into bed and get him his bedtime treat. Oh. <laughs> the moon is so bright. There's Jupiter. I do love the planets. 
but I won't be able to see much detail because the moon is full. It, it blots it all out. I was thinking of taking my telescope because the angle where Jupiter is is in line with my front room window. I was thinking of putting the telescope up there, but then I realised the full moon's there. It's just going to, you're not going to see anything. You're watching climate change. Also, one thing you've got to keep in mind with climate change and the air is sometimes the earth does crazy things. I mean, one of the things, what, what I don't understand about the weather that we have had this year is because of the, the first and the second lockdown, there wasn't many cars. So what, which means that a lot of the smog light in China cleared up. But yeah, I think there's, I think the the climate's a bit skewed with. It's too cold for this time of year. It feels, at the moment on my hands, it feels like, not midwinter, but sort of like the start of winter, like November. Yeah, when it starts to get a bit chilly. But the thing that I've, I've found difficult to deal with is the rain. There's been far too much rain, far too much. And yet, there's places in America, you know, with the Hurricane Henry, 23 inches of rain in 24 hours. That's biblical. That is biblical. And I've seen the, the reports from likes of New York, where likes of, everything's underwater. I mean, I know we're a water planet. I know I think it's, it's some is it eighty seven percent of the Earth's covered in water, mostly salt water. But Jesus, the weather's mad. The weather is mad, and they're saying we might have a late summer. Like tomorrow, it's like a midsummer's day. Apparently, and judging by the app, it's just sunshine all the way right towards the evening. So I thought, I'm going to get out the back garden, do my little bit, yeah, tidy it up a little bit, so I can set a video camera up, because I really want to catch the foxes, because the foxes, have got the cubs at the moment, so they go a little rummaging and stuff, and whatever food Aubrey doesn't leave out, I, I, what food Oberon doesn't eat, I leave out for him. So it attracts them, and I love foxes. I've always liked foxes. And Oberon likes to sit at the window and look at them as well. Doesn't bark, he just watches them. There we go. Nearly home. Yeah, see new people moving in, they've got the windows open. They haven't moved in yet. <laughs> so I just hope they're not as bad as dickhead up there. Yeah, yeah up you get. <laughs> and can you see his eyes? <laughs> what? What? What do you want? Okay then, we're going to bed now. Oh! Come on then. <laughs> I'll see you so tomorrow. <laughs> the earth is revolving. Anyway, take care everyone. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Good night, God bless and take care.